Sometimes we're just too busy to make cakes from scratch and sometimes you just need to reach for a box cake mix. These box cakes mixes are so simple. Add water, add oil and add eggs. Eggs? If you need to cater for someone who can't eat eggs or who won't eat eggs, what do we replace the eggs with? In this video, I'm gonna try not one, not two, but six. <laughs> six different egg alternatives. I'm going to try yogurt, mashed banana, apple sauce, chia seeds. Is that how you pronounce it? Chia, chia, chia seeds? An egg replacer and vinegar and baking soda. You can see I have prepared them here. I've baked all of these earlier, but which one came out the best? And which one made me react like this? Oh no. Oh no. I've got some little cheeky monkey helpers that are going to do some taste testing. And I'll also show you the results of all six different types of egg replacement. So if you want to know which one comes out best, then watch this video and I'll show you. This box cake mix is a Pillsbury Funfetti premium cake, premium cake and cupcake mix. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just gonna give them a go. This particular box cake mix is not suitable for vegans as it's got milk in it. I'm told that the Duncan Hines box cake mixes are 100% vegan friendly as long as you replace the eggs. I'll put details in the description down below along with the full recipe. Okay, let's start making cakes. This box cake mix requires three eggs. So we're dividing the mixture by three and adding 75 millilitres of cold water, 40 millilitres of oil, and instead of one egg, we're adding 40 millilitres of Greek yogurt. Mix this together for about two minutes. Make sure you stop to scrape down from the side so you don't get any lumpy powdery bits in your cake. And there you go, it was as easy as that. It's looking a little bit runny, but let's give it a go. Grab a cupcake or a muffin tin and fill it with your liners. I'm making four of each type of cake, so I'm going to fill these four pink liners with the cupcake mixture. So remember, this one is the yoghurt. Now let's make the second lot of cakes. Once again, we're using a third of the mixture of the cake box mix. We'll add our water and add the oil. Then instead of one egg, we're adding a quarter of a cup or 65 grams of apple sauce. Give that a good mix for about two minutes. Well, I can see some lumpy bits in there. Don't forget to scrape down the sides. And there you go. As easy as that, and it's looking a bit thicker this time. Add it to your cupcake liners, and there you go. Now for the third lot. Add the water and the oil to the cake box mix. And this time we're using mashed banana. A quarter of a cup or 65 grams per egg. Give that a good mix. For about two minutes, you've guessed it. Scrape down from the sides. Continue mixing, and there you go. Fill your liners. We're going for blue this time, so blue is the mashed banana. I'm going to pop these beauties in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Ta-da! As if by magic, they're all cooked, and they smell delicious. If only we had smell a vision I can't wait to get stuck into these. But first, let's make batch number four. In goes the water, in goes the oil, and this time, the chia seeds, or chia seeds, I still don't know how to pronounce them. They've been soaking in water for 20 minutes. And let's add them in and give them a good mix. You've guessed it, for about two minutes. We're putting these cakes in the snazzy silver cupcake liners. Cake batch number five is the free and easy egg replacer. Instead of one egg, I've mixed one and a half teaspoons or 10 grams of the egg replacer with two tablespoons of water and then mix that to the other ingredients for two minutes. It looks a bit thick and stodgy, this one. I hope it's going to be okay. 
Oh, and finally, cake batch number six. We're adding the box mix ingredients, the water and the oil. And instead of the one egg, we are adding one teaspoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Not balsamic vinegar or malt vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Can you hear that fizz? I hope this is going to be okay. Mix them together, you've guessed it, for two minutes and then pop them in the last four of the cupcake liners. This one does look a bit runny, I hope it's going to be okay. And there they all are, ready to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Voila! There you go, all cooked and smelling absolutely delicious. I can't wait to try all of these beauties. I'm going to pop all the cakes on a wire cake rack just to cool down for a few minutes. And then it's ready for the tasting. I can't wait. First up, we're trying the one made with the yogurt. Okay, so it hasn't risen too well. It's a little bit flat, but it smells nice. Let's give it a try. It looks like a cake, nice and spongy. So this is the best bit, I get to eat them all. Mmm. 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 It's really nice and moist. A lovely texture to it. Not dry at all. It's not crumbly. It's delicious. Mmm. Thumbs up. Well done, yogurt. Okay, which of you boys likes cake? Me! <laughs> Wanna take a bite and tell me what you think? Do you like that one? Yeah! It smells like sponge. It smells like sponge? Yeah. It smells like sponge too. Wanna bite it? Yeah. It's so good. Okay, number two, we have the vinegar and baking soda. I'm a little bit concerned, I have to be honest, I can't lie, I'm a little bit concerned. All right, it's kind of fallen to pieces a bit. Oh, it's crumbling, it's very crumbly, very crumbly. And, it, and it's very brown on top, in case you can't see that, of course. Oh, <laughs> it's crumbling everywhere. Right, here goes. Oh no. Oh no. That's awful. That is seriously awful. Doesn't work in this cake mix. Oh. It must react with the other ingredients in the box. I think I need a drink. Well, that saves you trying that one. Oh, is it breaking up? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. It's good, but there's this weird taste. Don't like it. Okay, cake number three is made with mashed banana. Looking good. It smells a bit like banana bread. Keeping its shape. Oh, spongy. Feels a little bit heavier than the other cakes. A little bit wetter. A bit moist. No. It's really wet too wet and it's very banana-y. <laughs> I don't know why I expected it not to be <laughs> but it is very banana-y. If you like bananas you probably like it. Bananas remind me of being pregnant, morning sickness, all day sickness. <laughs> it makes me cry. Mm. 
tastes like banana. I think it smells like washing powder. Smells like washing powder. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. If I was a banana kind of guy, this is what I would eat. Okay. Cake number four. Free and easy egg replacer. Ta-da! Okay, it's holding its shape and the squeeze test. <laughs> Squeezy. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Cake overload. I like that. Yeah. I might have to have another bite just to check, just to make sure. We need a cup of tea with this. I like that one. Hmm. Thumbs up. Are you ready for cake number four? Yeah. yeah. Is it nice or what? <laughs> Okay, cake number five. I've never used these seeds before. Chia seeds, chia seeds, chia seeds. You can see the seeds in there. See, if children spotted this, they, they wouldn't want to eat it. Actually, they would eat it, wouldn't they? Let's face it, children, cake, they eat it. Oh. That's uh, gone right through. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, a little bit crumbly. See? It's okay. Not too fond on the crunchy bits. And get stuck in your teeth. And it's a little bit dry. Okay, time for the very last of our egg replacement testing. This is cake number six with apple sauce. Lovely. Sorry, I've still got a chia seed in my gum. It's incredibly sweet. And you can definitely tell that it's apple sauce. I can taste crunchy bits of apple and I can taste the sweetness. If you like apples, you'd like this. Apple-y. Time for the last cake test. Yes. I don't like it. That's the sweet taste and it doesn't smell very nice. Fruit bits in there. Don't like it? No. It's too sweet, mommy. Josh, which was your favourite cake? Number one. Number one. Alfie, which was your favourite cake? Number one. Number one. And Alex? Number one. Yours was number one as well. Yeah. You want to know my favourite? I've got two. Can I have two? Can I have two favourites? Is that okay? My two favourites were actually the first one, which was the yoghurt, although it didn't look so great, it didn't rise so much, but I didn't use a full fat yoghurt, so maybe if I used a full fat yoghurt next time, it would be even better. And my other favourite one was actually the free and easy egg replacement. I'm not being sponsored by them, by the way. To me, it tasted very much like normal cupcake. I wouldn't make the vinegar and the baking soda again. Let's face it, that was a disaster. But other than that, I'd go with any of them. So there you go. I hope I've helped. And if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to this channel 
and feel free to watch any more of my Easily Eggless videos right now. Oh, and if there's any recipes that you'd like to know how to make without eggs, then pop them in the comments down below and I'll see if I can make them for you. Thanks for watching and now I'm going to eat some more cake.